What's going on, Savage Gang? It's your boy, Ambitious T, back with another video. Hey, man, make sure y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel, man. Make sure y'all hit that post notification bell so here to my post, and I'll be right in your face with it. All right, y'all, what's going on, man? I hope everybody had some good holidays. Y'all done enjoyed y'all families, y'all friends, you know, pretty much everybody that y'all kick it with on a daily basis. But, um... In today's video, we will be installing something new to the charger. Um, I seen this on um, a guy's channel that I watch. He put it on his charger, and I was like, man, hey, I want to get that. I like to, you know, see stuff that stands out on the car that makes the car just look a whole lot better, a little more newer. So, in a minute, man, I'm going to show y'all what we rocking with, man. But y'all just make sure y'all... Just rock with me, man. Um, so in the next clip, I will be showing y'all what we adding to the charge. Y'all just stay tuned. All right, y'all. So this is what we will be installing to the charger today. This is the 2015 to 2020, I believe. front bumper grill with the snorkels they light up they change with the turn signal and they have a bright white LED light yes sir and I got this from Vice Rick Vice Res something like that Came up packaged pretty tight. Yeah, man. I'm gonna put the link in the description below so y'all will be able to find it exactly where I got it from, how to order it, and everything like that. So as soon as we get this process started, I will turn the camera back on. Y'all just stay tuned. All right, Savage Gang, so as y'all can see, I do have my bumper off. I'm gonna try to find a way to get my SRT off too, but I don't really think I'm gonna be able to get that. Uh, I don't believe I'm gonna be able to get the SRT off of there. I'm gonna try though, but for the most part, man, I got my bumper off, man. As y'all can see. So my next step is to get the front grill off. Man, I know it's gonna be kind of hard for me to do this, man. But, man, it's about, what, 3.30 in the morning? Man, I'm out here trying to get this done, man. So, trying to do my best, man, to get this done. And I do have something else coming. Just make sure y'all pay that some attention. Got something coming for that. Man, it's cold out here. It is cold out here, man. I'm gonna try to get this done, man. Y'all just stay tuned, man, for the finished product. Yes, sir. What's going on, Savage Game? Same video, different day. All right, so in the previous videos, y'all should have seen what we was doing to the charger. Um, At this point, it feels way better than it did in the last video. I will say that. So, right now, only thing I got left to do is to put the car back together completely. Um, and then actually wire up the lights, which I will show y'all. The reason why I haven't really showed y'all step by step is because I haven't had somebody to hold a camera and I haven't bought, brought, I haven't bought the mount to hold my camera up. So, that's why it's pretty much me just cutting it off and then cutting to the next day because I really haven't had time or had somebody to actually help me with the recording process. But you know, it's all good, y'all. I'm still gonna show y'all the finished product. I'm still gonna show y'all some of the steps as to how to get your grill out, which it's a hassle, especially if your car was made between, between 2015 and 2017. It's just a hassle. Excuse me, man, I just woke up. So, that being said, 
let me show y'all how far I got now, and then we're just gonna keep it cracking. All right, y'all, one more thing. So, in the previous video, I did tell y'all to make sure that y'all paid attention to my side markers. So, I was gonna make it a two part video, but I'm just going ahead and you know, just throw it all in one. Might as well. All right, so I did end up buying something new for the charger again. <laughs> <laughs> but let me show y'all what else we adding to the charger along with the front grill. Diode Dynamics Performance Side Markers. I was real skeptical about getting these too, but after seeing some of the pictures, you know, some of the videos on these, I had to go on ahead and get them. So in the second man, I'm gonna show y'all what they looking like, show y'all which ones we adding, and it's pretty much, you know, service exclamatory, it's plug and play, pretty much. You just unscrew the old ones, screw the new ones on, plug them up, there you go. So, this also is coming to the car. So, so in a second, I'm gonna take the front ones off since I already got that grill off, and we're gonna move on to the back, and we're just gonna do it like that. All right, y'all, y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all. So right now, this is as far as I done got. Old grill right here. So I'm gonna try to figure a way to put the SRT on the new one. I don't really have a spot for it. But I'm gonna try to figure out something, see what I can do. Y'all just stay tuned for the rest of that. But as soon as I get this done, man. But as soon as I get the process started all over again, I'll turn the camera back on. Y'all just stay tuned. All right, y'all. So from the back, pretty much what I did was I undid this little clamp right here. That little clamp at the top, and they go all the way down. All the way down and so forth and so on. So that's how you pretty much get the old grill out and put the new one on. It's pretty much, it clamps right back into place. Um, next, what you have to put back in, and mind you now, if you do have the um, fault light LEDs, it's gonna be a hassle for you to try to get this uh, to get this bumper off and to be able to work and maneuver with this not being in. I mean, with yeah, with this being in. So just make sure y'all be careful, man. You don't wanna have to, uh, you don't wanna have to unplug everything just to get your bumper to where you can actually operate on it. But you know, man, just just be careful. Plus I know y'all spend a lot of money on y'all stuff, man. So just be careful when you uh handling this stuff. But as far as putting the bumper back together, I pretty much just gotta go back and put this back on, which is the bumper guard for the radiator. And then we pretty much just gonna put this thing back together. And then we gonna wire up the, uh, the new lights. So y'all just stay tuned, man. Give me a second. I'll be right back with y'all. Yes, sir. All right, so after you get the bumper reinforcement back in place, now you have to go back and replace all these tabs that we took out. And there's one more right here. I don't know if y'all can see that, but there's one more hole in there. After that, you pretty much just gotta put it back together. Go back and rebolt everything back up. But just wanted to show y'all the tabs because I know I didn't show y'all when I took it out. But for the most part, the hardest thing is going to be getting these out. 
and making sure that they go back in place. Like this one, I gotta go back and make sure it's actually in there. But for the most part, getting these out, you have to use a flat head and a pry tool in order to get each one of these out. And like I said, for the for the not the older models, but the ones that was made before 2017, well, before 2018, it might be kind of hard for y'all to get them out of there. And I am running into trouble trying to get these back in place, only because these little tabs, they a pain. So y'all just stay tuned, man. Just wanted to give y'all a brief little description on what you gotta do to get the bumper reinforcement back in place and also to go back over the grill with y'all. But y'all just stay tuned, man. All right, y'all. So as far as getting the side markers off, which y'all can see a huge difference between the two, um, it's pretty much simple. Only thing you have to do is you don't even have to take the entire bump off. You just have to peel back. Pretty much simple. Pull back the inside part, and then you have to reach your hand in and unscrew these two bolts right here. So one right here, one right here. And there's only two bolts that's holding all of them up. Once you get them out, you pretty much just slip the other ones in and then plug them up. So once I get that in, those two sides in, I'll turn the camera back on and let y'all see what they look like. All right, y'all, so basically this right here is my ground for my uh lights and what i did was i took the red wire and i cut open to the white and red on my side marker and that was my power so every time they turn on it's gonna turn my lights on I'm gonna find somewhere to hide all this wire, but give me a second, y'all. I'll be right back. All right, so in order for the turn signal to work, you'll take the yellow from the snorkels and attach it to the white and tan. I pretty much cut open to that wire and then pretty much just electrical tape the real, real good. So give me a second. And I'm going to show y'all how we do the other side. And by the way, with the other side, I had to take my whole intake off in order to get to this harness. See, I'll just give me a sec. I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So if you look closely, it's two wires that are both white and green. The one at the top, and you have to look at it like from this angle, just how you insert it from the top. This one at the top, this white and green one right here. That is the one you need to tap into. Now, a lot of times they tell you that you have to figure out which one. But if you look at the other side, this white and tan one, the one that you tap into for your passenger, is gonna be the same way for the other side. See that so that's the one you tap into in order to get the snorkel to go with the turn signal so give me a second i'll be right back all right y'all so basically once you connect the wires together it's pretty much you're just putting the whole intake back together so in a second man i'm gonna show y'all what this finished product look like oh also when you're going back to do the bumper, make sure you put all your tabs back. I'm missing a few because I misplaced them, you know. But uh, yeah, man, just make sure you keep all the stuff together. I'll leave this side marker. Man, that side marker that look good. So in a minute, I'm gonna show y'all the finished product and what we looking like. So y'all just stay tuned for that, man. And I promise y'all ain't gonna. What's going on, Savage Game? same video different day once again all right y'all so i finally got everything done finally got everything put back together i even changed out everything i needed to change out like everything got done yesterday so i'm pretty excited about that pretty happy about that i'm gonna show y'all that 
I'm gonna put the link in the description for, for everything that I got down below so you'll know exactly where I got everything from. Um, yeah, man, I love everything about it. I did end up breaking one of the sensors on my coal intake when I took it off because I had to take it off in order to install the grill. But I already got that on the way. It should be here Saturday. Um, but it's nothing too major. But overall, man, I'm excited about it. Um, it came out better than I expected, really. I even, I wish I could have uh, kept my SRT on my grill, but it ain't no big. I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have another one coming real soon anyway. Y'all just stay tuned for that. Y'all, hey, make sure y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel, man. Hit that post notification bell so every single time I post, I'll be right in your face with it. You know, man, I'm taking taking them, but a half a second really to hit the subscribe button and to like it really. Y'all, man, just just support the channel. You feel me? What's going on, Savage Gang? All right, man. Same video, different day, man. I had to wait a little while before I could show y'all this clip. I actually didn't want to post any pictures or anything like that before I got the video out. So that's why I'm here doing this now, so I can go ahead and get the video posted either tonight or tomorrow. All right, y'all. So basically, I'm just going to give y'all a brief run around of what I done did to the car um, as far as for this video. Other than that, man, I hope y'all like it. I really do like it. One more thing. I've been having a little issue with my uh, lighting trends, DRLs, and halo rings. Um, if anybody has any kind of troubleshooting uh, answer that could help me out, man, I really appreciate it. Just uh, comment down below, man. Hit me up on IG at underscore 392 Savage. Um, anything can help, man, because I've been having a lot of issues with these lights. And I know people, they recommended me to go with them. And I've been seeing all the comments that they've been getting and stuff like that. So I don't want to really get them a bad review. So if anybody knows anything, just let me know. But with that being said, let me show y'all what I got what I got going. Y'all see that side marker too? So I basically installed the grill and the side markers myself. Pretty much, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a video showing y'all basically what I do to my car. I got another video that I had to drop about the DRL and the Halo rings from Lighting Trends, which I will be dropping that video not after this one, but after the next video. But if y'all want or need any help installing y'all lights, I don't charge that much. Just comment down below or DM me on IG and we can talk. But I pretty much did all this work to my headlights, to my grill, to my side markers. Pretty much everything I do to my car, I'm trying to do it myself. So I can get my name out there, give me some business. But I am very satisfied with the with the fall light grill and the side markers. The side markers stand out amazing. They are nothing like the factory. Nothing like the factory. I don't understand why the factory just don't recommend or put this as a package where you can get them smoked already. They need to do like a little, a little thing with uh, Dodge. And made this like a plus package and add the side markers in. Cause I'm really digging the way them side markers look. But man, I just wanted to show y'all that. Just so y'all can see what I was talking about. Because I know in the video, I kind of skipped around in the video a lot. And I really wasn't trying to do that. But I didn't have a stand to put my GoPro on. Which, that is coming soon. So I had to keep stopping the video over and over again. But, I hope y'all like it, man. Because I do like it. In the next clip, I'm going to show y'all what the fall light grill looks like. Because it turns with my turn signal. So every time I flick the left or the right. Or my hazards. It blinks with me. So in the next clip. I'm gonna show y'all that and I will put 
the instructions on how to do that. I already explained it in the video, but I'm gonna put that in the actual video on how you actually wire them up to the turn signal. I'm gonna put that in the actual video. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. That's the driver's side. And I like the way it actually changes To that amber yellow I like that all right now I'm gonna show y'all the passenger side and eventually I'm gonna show y'all how when it turns yellow it goes off for a second and then it comes back and actually comes back on white so I'm gonna show y'all how I do that. I'm gonna try to see if I can get it in this video, but if not, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eventually show y'all how it look. But I like that, man. That looks, that look pretty good. And next, I'm gonna show y'all what it like with the hazards on. Now I love the way that looks. And by the way, man. I know I put it in the actual video. My car is a 2015. So this is for any model 2015 to 2017 that doesn't have that grip that doesn't have that 2019 grill on. I didn't really get it so my car can look newer. I got it because I like the way the snorkel look looks. I, I really just wanted it pretty much for the lights actually. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to you. It wasn't even about it having a snorkel grill because I, I really missed my SRT that was on my grill, but I do have another one coming. Yeah, man, that's pretty much it, man. Um, that's pretty much all I got for y'all. But that's gonna be a wrap for this video, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope y'all like what I got coming for my car. I hope y'all like what I'm doing to it. If y'all got any kind of customizations y'all want to see, man, any ideas, man, please comment down below. Don't be shy. I am welcome to all ideas, you know, all criticism, this, that, and the third, man. I'm all for it. Yeah, man. Make sure y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel, man. Hit that post notification bell so every single time I post, man, I'll be right there in your face. Please, man, that's all I'm asking. It don't take you nothing but a second to like and share and comment to the channel. On the channel. Sorry about that. <laughs> but I hope y'all like it, man. I got a lot coming, man. Y'all just stay tuned. I'm out. Peace.